kind of interesting. I'm kind of a contractor guy after 40 years. And here I am by the time... Is this working? Can you hear me? So, so here I am by the time I reach the job site. I'm already behind schedule and over budget. And... Uh, and carry set expectations that I don't know that I can accomplish. So that's reality. Thank you, structural engineer. <laughs> Very well. Uh, I, 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 unfortunately, and, and I'll, uh, I'll uh, apologize now. I think my presentation that Carrie's referring to is the one I gave about three weeks ago. So today I'm going to talk about something different. But however, if you're interested in that, I, I'll talk to you about all the things Carrie's promised you later. Um, I, I want to take a, a, a minute or two because we use the term constructability all the time. And, and what is constructability? Because I think we all have a different concept of what constructability is. And I'm going to talk about today a variety of initiatives in our industry, including PRO, and how they're looking to improve constructability, ultimately uh, productivity, and, and, and reversing the trends that we saw. But constructability is the effective integration of construction knowledge into the design of a building or other structure. The goal is to create designs that are materially efficient and allow the productivity potential of modern construction systems to be fully realized. And as a contractor that I spent over 40 years active in, you and like many other contractors, some of you may be here, it was incredibly frustrating when we often saw designs that had complexities or details uh, uh, that were not constructible in an efficient, productive way. And so, yes, I did spend my time as, a, as one of those lousy concrete contractors for 40 years. And, and yes, I struggled through some of the things that Carrie often talked about. But this gives me an opportunity to come back and say, before my time's done, can we make an impact? Can we make a change? Can we open the vision, as Carrie suggested? And, uh, and that's, that's my personal goal. Uh, I'm going to talk again. You saw these things from McKinsey Institute, uh, and Carrie introduced them. And quite frankly, over time at Pro, we hope to embrace uh, at least the next four or five. Uh, as I walk through the convention the last couple of days, and people often pull me aside and ask me, What is Pro doing? What are they focused on? What's their intention? And quite frankly, most people think on the surface that there has something to do with skill development, trade uh, the advancement, uh, on-site uh, leadership. Uh, quite frankly, I'm not going to touch any of those uh, because I think there's other organizations that and, and, and companies that do that either internally or on their own. So, you know, I'm going to look at this from the bottom up. Reskill workers is not going to be our focus, improve on-site execution, uh, other than uh, through the steps above it uh, will be our focus. But yes, we hope, as Kerry said, to improve the constructability of design, uh, to embrace innovation. And, and many of the ACI committees that I've sat in and been part of in my career, we always struggle with why are we not more innovative? Well, generally, innovation comes from not just the designer or not just the contractor, because when there are innovative approaches, you need to have the collaboration of the design to embrace those innovations, to take advantage of them. Or from a, a, a design standpoint, you need a contractor that can execute the innovative ideas of those designers. So the biggest impediment has largely been from my standpoint as a concrete contractor is the inability to get innovation in, in play. And, uh, and innovation is where productivity, quite frankly, can really improve. 
Sherry uh, talked about uh, impacting codes, and in, in my mind, uh, uh, when uh, the McKinsey report came out, they didn't have the concept that what we needed to do to maybe impact some of the ACI codes to make structures more constructible. But yes, we want to focus on that. And, and and as I jump to the next level, rewire contracts, yes, we're going to talk about some of that at PRO. Uh, because uh, as the traditional design bid build model that uh, much of this industry functions under, uh, that forces the silos to be not interactive and quite defensive of one another. And that's where a lot of uh, conflict and and uh, 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 and, uh, uh, and and struggle of communication uh, breeds. So uh, the concept, in many regards, is let's find a way to not be isolated in, in our silos. So as as McKinsey um, reports or suggests, you know, we embrace that, uh, although that does not necessarily uh, written or directed specifically to concrete design and construction, we we believe it, it, it can be applied directly. Uh, this next slide, and it's a little small, I apologize, this came from Construction Dive, but uh, as I said in the, in the, um, in the presentation, we're, uh, we'd like to identify many of the other initiatives that are out and and trying to uh, get their arms around the, the product, uh, productivity and constructability. But here uh, it, it clearly says that both AGC and AIA and their members strongly embrace the collaboration that target design development at, uh, at the project development stage. So uh, there are others out there that are expressing the need of what we're talking about. And what we're looking to do is bring uh, this uh, message and apply it to our industry. This is what Lean Construction Institute and Integrated Project Delivery (IPD) uh, and and these are this is their knowledge. This is their their slides. But quite frankly, if you look at the three uh, circles to the left, and I love the question earlier, where's the owner in this? Uh, what they're really saying is we need the owner, the builder, the designer to collaborate. We need to bring those silos together. And uh, IBD, which is Integrated Project Delivery, uh, basically says if we do so, that's the sweet spot. That's the target, right? And that's where we can maximize the benefit. And, uh, and so uh, this reinforces what what we're doing at PRO or seek to do. and So the, the graph to the right is a very interesting graph because the blue arrow at the top is uh, the traditional design, bid, build model. And, is, and although Kerry talked about traditions not being necessarily the smartest solutions, uh, I'm going to focus tr as tradition is the traditional design, build, um, uh, bid, build model which forces the, the individual silos to be separated in an adversarial contractual relationships as compared to the collaborative model, which, uh, uh, which Lean Institute recommends and suggests, suggests that creates uh, a different uh, uh, design construction sequence as shown in the green, and quite frankly, what is defined here as time saved is what I would define as uh, productivity improvement. So uh, productivity isn't necessarily uh, minimizing labor. It may clearly be minimizing time. So uh, there are initiatives. And uh, IBD and the Lean Institute uh, are, are stressing much of the same thing we are. Here's Construction Industry Institute. They're a research institution that supports uh, uh, with research our industry and, and tries to get their arms around a variety of things. Uh, they have done some studies on constructability. 
and uh, their members at uh, Construction in Industry Institute uh, have embraced uh, the, the concept that we're talking about, constructability. And what's really interesting here at the bottom is that they say constructability works. This, these are their words. Frequently, with dramatic results, with paybacks ranging up to 15 to 1. Now, what do I mean? What do they mean by paybacks 15 to 1? There is an investment. There is an investment by the owner. There is an investment by the designer and a contractor to collaborate early in the design process. Uh, it's, it, uh, it takes time. It takes knowledge. It takes technology. But if you do, whatever that cost is, the return can be as much as 15 to 1. And Construction Industry Institute says, how, how can a project afford to pass up constructability? Consensus docs. Consensus docs, and, and uh, uh, many of you in the industry have uh, probably heard of them. Consensus docs are documents that are created, contractual documents created by the support of over 40 uh, industry trade organizations from some contractors organizations, A AIA, AGC. Uh, they've even tried to develop tools to support the concepts that we're talking about. And they, they created a standard design assist contract document, and it was the first in the industry to contractually support this design assist collaboration early in the project. It's there, it's available, it's endorsed by the industry. Uh, it is an avenue. It's, it's no substitution, though, for trust. Uh, and, or a relationship amongst the owner, uh, the designer, and the contractor, which is an absolute must uh, to develop any collaboration. Uh, but uh, all parties have value to bring, and when you are able to capture the knowledge, the talent, the skills of three, the, we believe that the ultimate result can be a far more efficient construction process. Uh, ASCC, American Society of Concrete Contractors, which I'll take a minute to say we're proudly uh, uh, an affiliate. They're an affiliated uh, organization that supports uh, PRO. Uh, they have a constructability committee uh, that develops position statements uh, on to ACI documents. And for example, uh, they uh, uh, they created a position statement number 14 in regards to anchor bolt tolerance of AC for an ACI 301. Uh, they wrote an article uh, a year or two ago on the reinforcement congestion in cast-in-place concrete, uh, which was in large degree a constructability uh, recommendation. Quite frankly, uh, in the, in the uh, well, I, I, I said, Construction Institute, I'm sorry, that's a Concrete International. And uh, I believe it was in 2022, that article was awarded the top article of Concrete International in the year of 2022. Um, they do Concrete International Q&A articles and recently had one on operator qualification for determining uh, F numbers. Uh, they have more Concrete International articles in development, largely to embrace constructability. Uh, they have involvement in ACI committees, and as Kerry said, they help represent the construction industry here at the ACI and the convention, and they too are providing input in, into what I am calling or going to represent or, or disclose here. Uh, the Pro Constructability Blueprint. And one of our first initiatives, and it will probably be ongoing for some time, is to create a constructability guideline or manual, or, or we're going to call it a blueprint, that we think will evolve uh, with input and guidance and knowledge over a period of time. And we hope it will become a, a tool uh, for our industry 
to help designers and contractors uh, discuss particular details or concepts of how to maximize the constructability in the, in the design process. Uh, there's an ACI committee, 134, on concrete constructability. The committee mission is to develop and report on the best practices for constructability of concrete structures. Uh, uh, I en encourage any ACI member to be active and involved. This is uh, an ACI committee uh, of uh, and available to any ACI member. Uh, their most recent meeting, or their meeting today at, at uh, three to six. Um, so uh, uh, they're active in this effort and mission. Uh, there's a convention session on Wednesday, November first, at eight thirty, and and their topic is prescriptive or performance. What is the state of the industry? What are what are the examples of positive movement towards collaboration? Uh, and we highly encourage their efforts and, uh, and support their efforts. Uh, there's the uh, Concrete Constructability Certificate Program that Carrie mentioned earlier. And there's been over 300 participants in its first year that it's rolled out. This certificate program is, is a value to structural engineers to improve constructability and productivity in the industry. Uh, uh, Kerry spoke very highly of it. It's available uh, in ACI uh, for any member. If there's not a fee for this, if you have an ACI membership, it's available. It's, I believe, a a 12 session uh, uh, training program. Uh, and and this is further detail of the ACI certificate program. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail for the sake of time, but uh, I'll give you a quick overview of, of what it includes. Uh, Kerry mentioned and, and uh, the ACI TAC Productivity Constructability uh, Subcommittee. Uh, I'm, in, I'm encouraged by this because it gives uh, uh, constructability input on new uh, documents. And, and ballots uh, doesn't mean that it overrides. Uh, the committees themselves have the power to embrace their input, but I think it's a great step forward. Uh, there's the ACI Foundation that hosts the Concrete uh, Innovation Council. And uh, uh, if you haven't heard or participated in the ACI Foundation, uh, it's a great organization. Um, the committee mission is to identify technologies and innovations which provided needed solutions for the concrete industry. Uh, they, they have a technology forum every year. The next one will be in Santa Fe. Uh, now, with PRO, and I didn't realize PRO did, or Kerry did the PRO mission, so I'm not going to uh, readdress that, but uh, uh, I think it's, it's clear what that mission is. Uh, here's uh, our initial initiatives, and I'm going to pause here for a second because in, in June uh, we uh, captured 15 industry leaders that included designers, owners' representatives, uh, contractors, uh, material suppliers, ready mix suppliers, reinforcing installers and fabricators. We even had a testing agency. We spent 30 hours over a period of, uh, I'm sorry, over a period of 30 hours we met and tried to put our arms around what pro's greatest impact could be in, in the near future. And from that, their recommendations to the pro board were very parallel to what the board embraced. Uh, they uh, they want to, we, as Kerry said, improve constructability, concrete design, align the risk and reward of concrete design and construction and ownership, incentivize innovation in concrete design and construction, improve collaboration and teamwork amongst all project participants, 
improve the completeness, coordination of construction documents, and expand the industry use of new technologies. So those are the six initiatives that PRO is going to focus at, at expanding and growing. Okay, this must mean I'm in trouble. <coughs> and I've even tried to speak about it as quickly as I can. So, I encourage you to join the effort, become a member. Increasing productivity in concrete construction is vitally important to your company's future. No matter your industry focus, becoming a member of PRO means you believe in establishing early project collaboration and minimizing redesign time through highly constructible concrete projects, resulting in improved productivity, scheduling, and results for all. Join industry-leading designers, contractors, owners, developers, material suppliers, and innovative minds in steering PRO's activities and work products. As a member of PRO, you'll enjoy steering PRO activities and first access and utilization of the center's work products, along with an established network of other innovative design collaborators. Members will also learn to collaborate during the early design stage to leverage new construction techniques and other innovative concepts that will advance company success and establish new business focused on advancing concrete industry productivity and constructability. Through published member success stories, endorsement of member design professionals who complete the ACI Constructability Certificate Program, and recommendations to project owners. PRO aims to illustrate the value of design collaboration and motivate project owners. A few projects PRO and its members are focusing on include improving designers' understanding of concrete construction, realigning risk and reward to motivate productivity innovation, driving early project stakeholder collaboration, establishing standards for design document completeness, and much more. PRO will develop tools for owners, developers, designers, contractors, and material suppliers promoting changes in the concrete industry that improve construction productivity. All stakeholders and project delivery will benefit as barriers and conflicts are replaced with improved designs and field performance. Designer and contractor members can use PRO products to empower themselves to engage each other to build a trusted collaborative relationship. Board members will have recurring meetings with oversight of projects, resource allocations, staffing, and finances. This collaboration is key to advancing productivity. Specific PRO projects will have temporary task groups to capture member knowledge. Board seats are comprised of center members and will be expanded as membership expands. Platinum members are guaranteed a board seat, and PRO will add two gold members and one silver member to the board when appropriate. PRO is currently in the process of creating a constructability blueprint that can be used as a guide for all individuals and companies looking to improve their project's productivity. The digital guide will continually evolve and expand with constructability concepts with input from members and other very valuable sources that are proven experts in concrete industry productivity. Visit ConcreteProductivity.org to learn more and become a member of PRO, an ACI Center of Excellence for Advancing Productivity. Your unique success stories will be highlighted as industry changing. And thank you. And I'm sorry, Mike, I started late. I finished late. No liquidated damages, please. <laughs>